Hello everybody, welcome back to the 40k lowdown, and today I'm talking about yesterday's huge announcement that uh, Sisters of Battle are finally, after I think maybe 20 years or something since they got uh, released, are getting plastic models. Uh, and I was in, I couldn't, I saw this uh, just in the morning when I was just checking uh, Facebook before I went to school, and I was in total disbelief. I, like a lot of people, thought that uh, it'd been so long that they just probably weren't gonna do it. Um, I don't really know why they it's taken them this long because they must like look on the comments of the Facebook uh, post that they put up and just see the sheer scale of the number of people who want uh, New Sisters of Battle. And I suppose because um, this is quite soon after the community survey, it might have been the community survey that showed them like just how many people want uh, plastic sisters. I imagine they got thousands and thousands of uh, responses saying uh, we want plastic sisters and I think this is going to be a massive business move for them. I think uh, when they do get released just because purely of all the uh, massive hype that's been around them for so many years I think they're going to sell huge. I think we're going to be seeing them on the gaming tables all over the place. Um, personally um, gonna have to wait until I actually see the models um, as to whether I want any because um, of even now um, with how busy I'm, I'm struggling to uh, like manage my current army so add another one it would have to be an absolutely incredible uh, army like the, the sculpts would have to be awesome uh, for me to get them when they come out um, but I think in the future if they are cool I probably will pick some up and uh, the release date wasn't obviously announced um, but they did say it's coming in 2019 and um, so from that I think you can sort of infer that and um, they've probably started it they haven't they might not have even got any like uh, mod like concept models out um, because if it's coming in 2019 that's what at least seven months away and I don't know anything about the actual production um, of models. I don't know how it actually works or what the steps are, how long that takes. But I would imagine that for a, a, new, a whole new line of models, um, if they get like loads of people working on it, I reckon that they've probably got some designs. They've got like the, maybe some three D designs done, um, and they need to like refine them, um, get some uh, concept models. So I don't think we're actually going to see uh, teasers for them maybe un uh, maybe until uh, like Christmas I think that maybe the actual release date could be somewhere in uh, about this time next year obviously as I say I don't really know anything about how uh, models are actually produced apart from the fact that you put the 3D designs in to a massive machine computer thing and it does it um, but yeah so I'm definitely not sort of the, the target for this I'm not especially hyped um, I know a huge number of people are um, who've like been in the hobby since uh, Sisters got released, and they've seen every other um, like faction get plastic models and get resin models. Um, I'm sure, like five years or whatever ago, um, Sisters fans, even though resin isn't great, might have been thrilled to get uh, a new line of resin models. Even though resin is the fine cast anyway, is really not very good just because. The models now are so outdated, really they look look like, when you compare them against modern games of Workshop models, they really look honestly dreadful. I'm not sure why anyone now would actually actively buy them, because they're so prohibitively, prohibitively expensive. Um, so it's like £40 or something for a squad of 10. Um, and uh, up until this edition, um, I'd led to believe they weren't actually any good and they look terrible so I'm not sure why anyone um, actually really plays them anymore apart from out of uh, pure nostalgia um, but I think this uh, new line of them will sort of introduce them to a whole new generation of people uh, to love sisters because it's also like um, I don't know but I can't really say I've seen much like lore about them and there hasn't been that's no like sisters books or anything that have come out like even like vaguely recently as far as I know um, so yeah I think this new release and sort of the um, stuff that goes with it I imagine there'll be a lot of like uh, new books and stuff come out with the Sister Battle uh, like novels 
um, to sort of pilot the release. And I think that I really bring it to a whole new demographic who um, maybe like don't even know what sifters are because like they're not really stocked uh, like on the shelves of any uh, hobby store I've seen because no one plays them. I've never, as far as I can tell, apart from Celestine and like Sisters of Silence, I've never seen actual Sisters of Battle on the table. And I think that's really that's sad because they're such a, a cool concept. They're really sort of the epitome of the idea of the Imperium. They protect the like uh, churches and stuff. I don't really know the technical terms, but they're sort of the epitome for me of Grim Dark. Like their tanks and stuff are so like devoted to the Emperor. I think their concept is really cool, and I'm glad that finally, eventually, we're actually getting. Or hopefully going to get some awesome models that are not going to be prohibitively expensive to own. So those are my thoughts and uh, my predictions. Um, I hope that you've enjoyed this video. I'd love to see some of your thoughts in the comments. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.